is lovely. Thank mm. you, Pearl. So are you? Thanks. How was your swim? It was great. You know what I was wishing? No, what were you wishing? That instead mm. of going to court all day, that we could take a nice long drive in the country. Let's do that as soon as this trial's over, okay? Fair. Sounds like a good idea, but I think we're going to have to hold off on it, sweet pea. Why? Well, because I'm going away tomorrow, and I don't know when I'm coming back. What do you mean? Where are you going? I'm going to check myself into the same hospital that Kelly did. some other time. Uh, I just thought I've got a million things to do before court convenes today and I, I, I want to be able to give you my full attention when we're, when we're together. Do you really think that's possible? Oh, no, wait I, I don't want to hold you back. Just don't do whatever it is you have to do. Santana, please don't Look, do Cruz, this. Look, Cruz, you're not the only one who's busy. I've got a million things to do today. Augusta, this is Cruz. I'm sorry it's so early, but I've got to talk to Julia. All right, well, have her call me as soon as she can. Uh, it's, I have some very important news for her client's case. Th I'm sorry. Thank you. You know, I do want to be with you. You are taking this the wrong way. Fine, fine. Then we'll make an appointment because I'm not going to sit around and wait for you anymore. Your uh, jury summations? Mm hmm. Yeah, I went to sleep with my lover and woke up with my attorney. Think I could convince either of them to come back to bed with me? My last chance mm -hmm. to reach the jury, which determines your fate. And <laughs> stop trying to seduce me and get back to work. I get that. Hello? Okay, just a second. Your sister. Oh. Augusta? Sorry to disturb you, but Cruz Castillo called. Said it was very important. I told him you were in the shower, and I think you better call him back, or he'll think I'm the one that was all wet. Well, thanks for letting me know. Oh, listen, could you do me one more favor? Oh, yeah. Could you um, um, pick out my beige suit, you know, the one that makes me look like a college professor? Um, I I'd like to wear that to court today. All right, as long as you don't ask me to press it. I'm hopeless iron-wise. That'll be fine. Listen, um, I'll be home and, and, and change with something. And you have time to join me for that breakfast? Uh, hold on, hold on a second. Uh, I, I got to, I'm sorry, what? I, I asked you if you'd have time for breakfast with me. Uh, no, I don't. I'm just going to have to catch something on the way. All right. suit. Well, maybe I should have been a valet. I'm coming. Who is it? Well, what brings you here so bright and early? 
I just dropped by to invite the opposition to the local diner, discuss the case over scrambled eggs. But since I see that Julia isn't quite ready yet, do you mind if I come in and wait for her? I thought you were gone. I'll stay out of your way. Look, let's not fight anymore. I hate to see you unhappy. Like then this. don't look at me. Will you just tell me what's going Will on? Will you stop it? Just stop acting dumb. You know exactly what's going on. You know why Why you keep finding excuses not to be with me, not to touch me. Because you don't have any feelings for me. That's not true. I have a lot of oh, feelings yeah, for sure. you. Oh, yeah, sure. Pity, annoyance, and boredom. Son, son, please. Will you don't sit. Don't touch me. Just leave me alone. What's the matter with you? Is it, is it your allergies? My life is what's the matter with me. And I know who to blame. I know exactly why you haven't touched me since the day that Kirk Cranston went to prison. Okay, now that's about enough here. You're starting to talk like a crazy person. You're making me crazy. You know, why don't you just go live with Eden openly? I'm getting sick. I'm getting tired of pretending like I don't know that you're having an affair. I am not having an affair. Is that, uh, how many times do I have to tell you that? Is that what this is about? Why don't you just try telling the truth once? Maybe I'll believe you. I am telling the truth. You are a liar. I hate you. You're nothing but a liar. You don't mean that. I, I do. Santana, how many years have we known each other? When have I ever lied to you? Y you never had a reason to before because I wasn't your wife. It's all the more reason not to. I thought you wonder stood me. Marriage is a commitment that I could never take lightly. I guess that depends on which woman you're married to. I am married to you and I have been faithful to you. Look at me. Eden and I are not having an affair. No, I need you to believe that. I don't know if I believe you, if I, if I just, if I just want to believe you. For the you. love of heaven, what happened? Did somebody come and say something to you no, about No, I don't know what's happening. All I know is that you're not giving me what I want. You're, we're not giving each other what we need. I gotta go pick up Brandon at Mama's and take him to school. Brandon can be late to school day. You, I have to son. go. Uh, really not a good time, Mason. There's a little matter I need to straighten out with Attorney Wainwright regarding certain evidence. She's beaten me. Why don't you just go home and sulk? Augusta, just tell her I'm here. I'm sorry. You can't see her. Don't tell me she's still asleep. Actually, she's gone to the courthouse. Uh, you've just missed her. My, my. That gives her a four-hour leeway on a 15-minute trip. She's certainly leaving nothing to chance, is she? She never does. You probably could learn a lesson from that. Could have saved yourself a trip. Now, if you don't mind. <laughs> well, um, give Julia my compliments on her choice of costumes for the day. That's conservative, sensible, and designed to inspire confidence in a jury. This happens to be my suit, Mason. I wore it last night. I just left it up for the cleaners. No, Augusta, you were wearing a gray sundress when I saw you last night. But I admire your sibling loyalty. Um, by the way, just between the two of us, does it, uh, make you nervous to know that Julia's sleeping with a lady killer? Off you go, Mason. Are they sure that this private detective didn't uh, doctor this photo the way that uh, he doctored the others? Yes, they are sure. Cruz is absolutely positive that Sheila was here at the time of Madeline's murder. Stop worrying. Sorry. You know, I'm really starting to feel like things are going our way. I already spent so much time being negative. Well, you must have had some positive moments along the way. What do you mean? I, uh, I found this. It's a vacation in June at a cabin in the mountains. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot about this. Uh, yeah, I rented that weeks ago. I haven't even been up there once. I guess I was feeling more positive about things then. Well, June isn't over yet, huh? 
You planning to go by yourself? Well, I was kind of thinking about asking you to go. Ah, I thought you'd never ask. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted this all to be over first. It'll all be over today. Now, slow down a minute, Courtney. You're going to into a mental hospital? Oh, you must be crazy. Don't be quiet, quiet. You don't want the whole palace to know. Why are you doing it? And don't tell me it's because you're crazy. I already know that. It has nothing to do with me. I'm trying to help Kelly out. Now, come here, come here, sit down. I have this instinct about Dr. Rollins, the guy that runs the institute up there. He is not doing her right. What makes you think that? Well, I mean, this guy, he may have all the right degrees... But he ain't kosher. He's making her worse, not better. Do you have any proof of that? Look at pretty lady. Just this one. Go on faith. Trust me. I mean, I've got very good reasons for saying this. Pearl, it's not fair. It scares me that you're going to take such a big risk. It doesn't even make any sense. You weren't even close to Kelly. Okay. It's not only for Kelly... It has to do with Rollins. He treated somebody that I knew a long time ago, uh, as somebody that I loved very much. Yeah, saved by the bell. Back then. Hey, Dr. Justin, you are just in time. Sweet Pete, I want you to shake hands with the medicine man who's going to sign my papers and get your butler committee. Man, Hobart was supposed to be in my office ten minutes ago with the Sheila Carlisle photo, all nicely numbered and labeled. All right, I'm going to give him two more minutes, and I'm going to come down there myself. He just walked in. Yeah. You're late. What is it? Uh, sorry, there's been a delay. There's been a little problem with the evidence. There's been a delay? The defense is due here any second to look over the photo. All right, Bill, let's have it. What the hell is going on? Okay, I got to get out of the phone booth. I got 30 seconds to turn into the super lawyer. Thank you very much. You're a wonderful sister, and I'll owe you the favor sometime. Where's my suit? I think you better pick out something else unless you want to give Mason Capwell another chance to smirk and make me a liar in the bargain. This sounds really fascinating, and I wish I had time to decipher what it is that you're talking about, but I don't. Yes, well, you're going to have to make time because I have a few urgent words to say to you. How few? About David Laurent. I got to please. Not now. I, I'm supposed to be at headquarters with Cruz right at this very minute. I'm minus the suit, and I, I have to find something else to wear. Uh, and let me say that's for me. Hello? Augusta, it's Cruz again. Uh, is Julia there? I'll see if she's in the shower, Cruz. I'm sorry. I'm on my way. I'm glad I caught you before you left. Hi. You know that evidence you were coming in to see, the incriminating photo of Sheila? It's missing. Je suis l'empereur. Ah, c'est Josephine. Viens ici, mon amour. What are you doing? Wasting my time. Down, Pearl. Uh, give me a break, Justin. So what? I don't make a very good Napoleon. Maybe you can give me some tips anyway on how I can come across as an authentic nutcase. Yeah, I must be nuts to even consider doing something like this. I I'm not going to have anything more to do with it. Here, here. Uh, uh, will you stay out of this civil play? Wait a minute, wait a minute, just to remember. It's the only way we can help Kelly unless you can think of a better idea. No. But I'm not about to play games with something this important. You know, for a young, young him, you lack a certain perceptiveness. Yeah, and you lack a certain sensitivity when it comes to dealing with other people. I mean, do you really think that I would arrange to have you placed among patients who are struggling just to survive each day? I mean, to you, this is just some sort of uh, adventure. Doc, I think it'd be a very good idea if you would brush up on certain subjects like underlying motivations and how certain people handle their pain so they don't go over the edge. Did it ever occur to you in your finite wisdom that I kid around to lighten things up because I am only too familiar with the frightening nature of this crisis? Yes, it occurred to me. I just didn't put it together with what you said earlier. It's okay. You know about as much about me 
as the little lady does, which isn't much. No, it isn't. Ah, it's enough to know that I am not kidding around here. Now, my methods may be a little bit clumsy, but my intentions are strictly samurai. I guess I owe you an apology. Yeah. You just take it off my bill. So I'm going to see you later on this afternoon, right? Why? What do you mean, why? So, well, I can prove to you that I can get by the little man in the white coats. Now, once I'm in there, I look after Kelly, make sure everything is all right with her, and that Rollins can't hurt her. But I need your help to do that. All right. I'll be back. But I'm not making any promises. Thank you, Doc. You will not regret this. <laughs> Better not. Later. Uh, thanks. Empress, let us make track. photo disappeared somewhere between the uh, clerk's office and the filing desk. We're investigating right now. Oh, that's terrific, Keith. Just go right on investigating that. And if you happen to find out how important evidence in a murder trial just vanishes into thin air while in police possession, no less, I would be thrilled to hear it. Well, I can understand how this upsets you. Upset is not an adequate description of how I feel right now. I am going to look into this myself, and I promise you, if we find out what happens, um, heads will roll. That's not good enough. You know, I'd be happy to testify that I saw the photo and verify the date on the newspaper next to Sheila. You're out of this. No, you're out of this. I am prepared to call a full-fledged hearing on this matter. Regrettably, she has a right to do that. And I'm going to call you, Mr. D.A., to the stand. You saw the photos, you lost the photos, and I'm going to let everybody in this courtroom know just how incompetent you really are. It doesn't look like lost pictures. Oh, well, no, this is a little presentation that Mason and I worked up to present to the jury. When David Laurent is found guilty, we are going to ask for the death penalty. Oh, really? Yes. Uh, and despite all your best efforts to date, even if you even if you manage to work in all Sheila Carlyle's evidence, he is going to be found guilty. We'll see. And when he's found guilty, we will ask for the death sentence. Unless... Unless... What? He decided to drop the matter of the picture. And I don't believe what I'm hearing. Well, bravo, Keith. You've managed to out Machiavelli me. Are you willing to take the chance that he may be found not guilty? Because if he's innocent, you shouldn't worry about the death penalty. But if you have miscalculated, it's a gas chamber. You are unbelievable. Both of you. Cyanide gas can be hard on a friendship. Oh, Mason, for God's sake. All right, everybody, that's enough. All right. Well, court is re going to reconvene in a few minutes. Uh, I have things to do. Ciao. You know, I'm, I'm sorry. I will keep looking. But I wouldn't hold your breath. You did this. Not at all. I'm an innocent bystander. You have never been an innocent anything, Mason. You know, Julia, if you weren't so involved with David, you might have been willing to risk the death penalty to get that evidence. That evidence could have meant the difference between guilty and innocent. You would do or say just about anything right now, wouldn't you? You're suppressing evidence, Mason, because you're running scared. You're way off the mark, Julia. Allow me to prove it to you. Well, well. First spectators are arriving. Come in, come in. No, no, have a seat. Ringside. You're about to get a preview of the main event. The state's summation of the case against David Laurent. I was going to run it by Ms. Wainwright here, but you three represent a much better challenge. If I can convince you, a jury won't be any problem. Julia, what is this? I don't know. Let him do it. I'm interested to hear what he has left of this case. You've got the floor, Mace. Let her rip. 
Why, thank you, Pearl. I will uh, begin by giving Julia credit for obscuring the facts with a lot of melodrama. But then I sympathize with her, because what alternative did she have? Her entire case rests on the testimony of that chameleon coom actress, Sheila Carlyle. Which of Sheila's stories did you three like the best? They're all entertaining, if not credible, from the stalwart business partner and friend to the loving, sacrificing mistress to the vindictive, jealous, spurned woman. They're all very satisfying performances. If this were a theater instead of a court of law, I would have applauded. But it's not a theater. It is a court of law, and as such, I intend to advise the jury to ignore Ms. Carlyle's testimony altogether. Her uh, contradictory revelations cancel each other out, which leaves us once again with the facts. And those facts haven't changed since the first day of this trial. You've done nothing to erase the trail that leads from the bungalow where Madeline was assaulted. And it still leads directly from that bungalow to your client. It leads first to his lies, given in lieu of an alibi. He was forced to back down on every one of them. It leads to the cufflinks found in his suitcase with traces of his wife's blood on them. It leads to the bloody shirt which he had hidden. And it leads to the cigarette butt found by Madeline's body. The same unusual, expensive brand that David smoked. David Laurent meets the first two criteria for guilt. He had the opportunity and the means to commit this murder. But let's look at the third criteria, the motive. In spite of the defense's efforts, she's not been able to produce another bona fide suspect. The fact is that David Laurent is the only person who had a motive for wanting his wife dead. And she died because she was careless enough to walk around without a will, which meant that David was her beneficiary. In spite of the defense's claims that David was a, an enterprising businessman, the fact is that he had no money of his own and that he lived off his wealthy wife's fortune. When he knew that he was going to be divorced, when he realized that he was about to be cut off forever from that fortune, he killed her for her money. No one will ever convince me otherwise. There's no doubt in my mind, nor I believe in the minds of these surrogate jurors, that David Laurent is guilty of murder in the first degree. Now, if by some fluke, Ms. Wainwright manages to con the jury, she will be guilty of helping a murderer go free. And who knows where he will strike next? What Unlucky woman will be next in line. Thank you. Sheila, for heaven's sake. I had to come, David. I couldn't stay away. Courtney, are you... I'm going to wait outside. Are you okay? Yes. Courtney? Oh. Courtney, please don't go. I don't want to hear any Look, more of this. this preview was Mason's idea, not mine. But I sat here, I sat here without a word, and I let him do his number on David. Courtney, he's going to give the jury a distorted image of him. It's not fair. I, I, I want to turn. And I think it's, it's only fair that you listen to me tell my side, David's side. Please, Courtney, will you let me do this? You know, I, I checked with everybody and nobody has any idea what happened to that picture or the negative. My findings exactly. I gotta tell you, I've, I've put a lot of nasty people behind bars in my time, most of whom didn't know the meaning of the word ethics, but they couldn't hold a candle to you. Really? You were out of line to even suggest that I not show that picture to the defense, but this is too much. You've burned your bridges with me, my friend. Well, you know, I never cared for you much, but I did respect you. Cruz. 
Rose. Hello, I... I was looking for you. I thought maybe if you had some time, we could have some lunch together. I'm sorry, but uh, the trial is about to begin. Of course, I, I wasn't sure of the time. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll see you in Sure. Awful. I, I, I should have called first. I, I, I wasn't even thinking. Don't worry. Your husband will never know that the reason you came here was to see me. They know I was here that day. The day she was killed. I know. I know. My attorney told me about the photo. Look, you should go. We can't afford to be seen now until this is all over. David, I need to be with you tonight, whether the jury's in or not. You know, that's impossible. It could be suicide. to give their marriage another try. But instead, he walked into the bungalow and found his wife lying on the floor, apparently dead. This was when he made his big mistake. You see, he panicked and he ran, believing that it would look like he was the killer. He was grief-stricken and he was terrified, and yes, this was a monumental error in judgment. Nobody will argue that. But none of this automatically means that he killed her. All right, then there's Sheila. The witness that the prosecution would like us to disregard, and he's right. She gave quite a performance up there, didn't she? And the upshot of it was that it proved that, that David was telling the truth all along. That the affair was only going on in her head. Now, Mason would somehow like to show that Sheila's duplicity somehow diminishes David's credibility, but the opposite is true. I don't think that there's anybody in this courtroom who heard Sheila reveal her twisted love for David and show her sheer malice at him for not loving her back. I don't think there's anyone here that would believe he was anything other than her victim. I also don't think that there's anyone here who really knows the agony that David has been going through in the past few months. He not only lost his wife once, but he lost her twice. First, when he walked into the bungalow. And secondly, when he had to make the decision to sign her heart away in order to save another human being's life. Courtney, I was there. I witnessed his agonizing decision over that. And I have to tell you, it made a lasting impression on me. A person cannot be found guilty by a jury unless the jury believes beyond a reasonable doubt that that person is guilty. I believe that David Laurent is an innocent man who has been wrongly accused of a very terrible crime. I believe that in this case, there is a lot more than a reasonable doubt. And I ask you, I, I implore you, please return the verdict of not guilty. David, I love my sister, but I know you cared for her too, I know that, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ever accused you or thought you were guilty. I don't think that now. I don't think that you killed her. So, are you the butler today? 
wasn't in the kitchen. Nobody else told me. Now I went to a trial. Oh, yeah? Well, I'm glad to have you even a few minutes alone with you, sweet. Look, I brought you a bag of cookies and a t-shirt. Why don't you try it on? It looks adorable. Do you like it? Me, but maybe I'd better not wear it right now. Why not? You know, Santana or Daddy or Rosa sees me. Yeah, I understand. Well, I guess you could just wear it next time we're alone together, huh? Okay. Have you seen some of my posters I've been putting up all over town? Yeah, I saw two right near my school. They're terrific, don't you think? But you didn't know your mom was such a great businesswoman, did you? Here, why don't you try a couple cookies right now? Santana only lets me have one. Well, I'm sure she won't mind if you eat a couple more just this one time. After all, we're celebrating my new business. Have you noticed that Santana has not been feeling very well lately? She was sick this morning. She has a lot of allergies. Yeah. I want you to keep a real close eye on her and uh, do whatever you can to help her out. I opened the car door for her this morning. You're such a sweet boy. But there is one really important thing you could do for her. You could remind her to take her medicine. When the rent trial is over, the jury is sequestered. Well, I just hope they do not deliberate all night long. Is that a bad sign for the prosecution? Well, if they decide to convict, the decision is usually a quick one. But in a trial like this, it's hard to figure out what they're going to do. And then maybe it means that you're supposed to not think about it and put your mind on other things. was nice. Yeah, it was for me, too. I'm glad you followed the impulse to come and see me. I think everyone should follow their impulses. I mean, if I'd followed my impulses in high school... <laughs> you know, people get themselves in trouble doing that. I guess I'd better be going. Um, who shows up here? I don't think I'll be overjoyed at seeing me here. No, I, I, I'm sorry. You're right about that. He's been angry at me over the Laurent case. I don't think he knows what it's like to be in my position. Cruz can be very unfair sometimes. Oh, yes. I want to see you again. I want to put a little joy in your life. I, I like that. I, I want to see you again, too. Ah, the fair Cordelia. What news from court? Oh, well, the jury is still deliberating. Hi, Justin. Hi, I am. Um, I'm just leaving. I'll talk to you about that tomorrow. Hey. You got it. And, uh, thank you very much. What are you thanking him for? For his keeping the faith with me. Don't tell me that he agreed to your crazy idea. Pearl, I can't believe that you could talk him into it. I was counting on him to hold out. Oh, what can I say? I was blessed with the power of persuasion. Some of us have it, and some of us don't. Fairman. Hey, you ought to know all about persuasion. Look what happened to you today in court. Oh, that's different. What do you mean it's different? It's the same thing. It's making someone see something in a different light than they saw before. Now, I just did that for Justin, and uh, Julia did it for you today. Yes, well, she sure did put some doubts in my mind about David's guilt. Uh-huh. I think it's real good to be shaken up and make a complete about face about something you want uh, that you were very sure about. Well, Pearl, I'm shaken up, but it's not just about David. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You see, I don't want you to go. And so I thought I would try out some of my own powers of persuasion. And maybe talk you into staying. <laughs> well, you know, I couldn't possibly concentrate on anything you have to say to me right now with you standing this close. Oh, yeah? Well, then, maybe I should keep my distance. Mm. Sorry. Too late. What did you arrange for all this? It's beautiful. Well, I just found the time. Had to be done. In case this is their last chance for an evening like this. We're going to have a lot more chances. I'm not being negative. I just... God, you, were, you were incredible in that courtroom today. I really think our worries are over. I want you to know you've given me the most beautiful moments I've ever known. I refuse to keep an open mind and I refuse to be philosophical. We are going to go on with every plan that we ever made. 
At the end of June, we're going to go up to that cabin that you rented. I love you. I love you. But I'm not going to stay here tonight. We're going to have dinner, and then I'm going to go home, and we're going to wait for the jury. But the trial's over. They couldn't have finished deliberating the wedding. It's too early. Hello? I'm sorry, darling. I just had to hear your voice again. I wish I could be there with you. Yes. I wish we were away together at that cabin you found for us, David. Sometime. Are you all right? Oh, fine. Yeah, considering. Darling, I won't sleep at all tonight, and I know you won't either unless the jury comes in. I want to come over later. I'm afraid that won't be possible. Tomorrow would be better. I'll have a lot to say then, uh, one way or the other. Good night. Reporters, you never quit. Well, then let's quit then. Come back over here and let's have a wonderful dinner. What's the matter? I know this this isn't a good time to bring this up, but it's been on my mind all day ever since uh, you told me about that photo of Sheila in Santa Barbara. Do you think it's possible that Sheila's the one that murdered Madeline? Frankly, yes. You didn't do it, and somebody had to. Well, what chance have the police got of proving that without that photo? If you're acquitted, they'll probably go after Sheila. Without the evidence, you're not going to get very far. I need to explain to you about this afternoon. I, I thought he was already in bed. that I read him this book tonight and I forgot all about it. That's okay. Listen, how many of those pills are you taking in the day? As many as I'm supposed to. All right, I just want to warn you about not overdoing it. Okay, okay, about this afternoon. Look, at, again, you don't have to apologize for leaving Brandon at Rosa's. You have clients, that's understood. I, I know, but sometimes it has to be at their convenience. That's what I'm saying. This is Capwell's cookies. Brandon must have picked this up. She leaves these everywhere. I hate Gina. I had to look in her face. Oh, I had her filthy mind. A piece of paper. What? If you were going to have an affair, would you tell me about it? If you were going to have an affair with Eden? Stop. Stop this. I'm asking you something very serious. I'm sorry. I can't take this seriously. Well, maybe you should take it seriously because maybe it's not a question. Maybe it's a statement. And maybe what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm finally giving up and accepting the fact of it. Oh, on. I've, I've been driving you crazy. We, we've been driving each other crazy. Maybe it's about time that we start leading a life of our own. Can you just tell me? What, I'm what, telling what I'm you what I feel. I don't believe you. You know that Keith Timmons hates you. The feeling is mutual. Now, why are you changing the subject? I don't dip. I didn't know that I changed the subject. What are you doing? I'm putting the queen of hearts on the king of hearts. Well, normally you're supposed to put the red on the black and then vice versa. I'm cheating, do you mind? Ah, no, no, not if you don't. Anyway, what I really meant is what are you doing out here? You swore to me that you'd go to bed once the jury was sequestered. Alive. Lying, cheating, what next? Actually, I'm surprised you're even here. So am I. I'm superstitious. I thought if I spent the night with David before the verdict came in, that it would bring me bad luck. I never knew you were superstitious. Very few things have ever been this important to me. I love him, my gosh. Ah, uh, the word... Marriage didn't happen to creep into your head. I mean, that man could go to prison. I don't care. You don't mean that. 
You're not going to spend the next 20 or 30 years going back and forth to the state penitentiary carrying baskets of food with files baked in them. I know that David is innocent. And if I have to, I'm going to spend the rest of my life defending him. Because he's the man that I want to spend the rest of my life with. That's what you said about Mr. Magoo when you were 10. I think you had a better chance with him. Good night. Stop it. <coughs> Hello, David. Sheila. Come in here. I told you not to come over. I couldn't stay away. You can't stay here. Hello? Hi. I wish I was with you. Yeah, so do I, but uh, I, uh, I guess you were right. It's, it's better this way for tonight. But after tomorrow, we'll be together, right? If I'm found innocent. Even if you're not... not. I'll appeal your case until the verdict is overturned or until they dig up enough evidence to convict the real killer. Who will no doubt turn out to be Sheila? Well, with the kind of faith you have in me, how can I lose, huh? You can't remember that. I was your lawyer, wasn't it? You really did quite a number on her, my dear. But it worked. She really fought for you. You inspire such intense loyalty from women. Uh, Shelley, you, you can't stay. You know, this is my favorite brand, too. Has been ever since I met you. I was going to tell you, David, darling, it was really quite stupid of you to leave that cigarette butt at the scene of the crime. 